Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining equilibrant force. Now, if there is a body, as here I have shown with the help of a diagram, having x and y axis. Now, there is a resultant force which would be acting on this body and resultant force is the disturbing force that is when the resultant is present the body will try to move in the direction of the resultant force I am indicating it with the help of this line that here is the resultant force having an angle theta with respect to horizontal and acting in the first quadrant so due to this resultant the body would try to move in its direction and it is going away from the equilibrium condition equilibrium condition means that if the body is at rest it should remain at rest if it is in motion it should remain in motion so here we can see that the resultant is the disturbing force and along its same line of action if we are having one more force denoted by capital E acting at, in say, at a same angle of theta but in the opposite direction resultant was in the first quadrant it can be in any quadrant it is not compulsory that the resultant should always be there in the first quadrant it, should, it can be there in any of the quadrants so here there is only an assumption which I have taken that the resultant is there in the first quadrant so opposing it will be the equilibrium, equilibrium force which would be there in the third quadrant having the same angle theta and due to this these equal and opposite forces the body would remain at rest that is it would remain in the equilibrium position so this capital E it indicates the equilibrium force and R was the resultant force so from this diagram we can make out that both resultant and equilibrium force are having the same magnitude the directions are opposite one is the disturbing force that is the resultant force is the disturbing force which will try to change the state of the body whereas the equilibrium force is the restoring force it will try to bring back the body in its original position so this was a short video regarding what is meant by an equilibrium force at the end, if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.